Hello, my name is Mike Sharp. I'm the president and owner of Sharpscapes. And uh, this is my innovative submission for course module six in managing innovation. Thank you for uh, allowing me to do this and your attention for a few minutes here. Uh, basically, I'm gonna talk about how we can use a lot of what we learned in innovation this year towards uh, improving and building upon our organization, which is uh, my business. Sharpscapes, uh, we perform, we provide premium level of corporate and fine residential landscape and grounds care here in the upstate area, mainly Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, this is our 11th year in business. We've grown about 10% or so every year. We're happy to be a solid, uh, probably second tier provider in, the, in a larger market here. There's some uh, bigger national companies in the area, but we feel like we're a, a uh, number two option right now to them, in the corporate world at least. And uh, we're growing and our goal is to become that number one. So we're on our way to do that after 11 years. Uh, our growth here, just a little brief history on our company. We're, we do our best and put our excellence towards service and our customers. Uh, proactive communication, the best industry knowledge and educated people, and the most respect reactive response time to our clients needs we feel like that's what they need from us in this industry um, to maintain their properties and do it the right way so we've grown from uh, a crew of a couple of guys including me in a truck to about 25 to 30 full-time employees peak season we got a very solid and, and respected reputation here very healthy uh, sales process which is the lifeblood of our business and based on referral and our uh, financials are very solid and in order year to year. We're very proud of all this, but it does require constant experimentation and innovation. So I was thrilled to, to take this class and gain some more insight into, into that. Uh, and what I wanna talk about is sort of how we can use what we've learned in managing innovation towards improving our company because we've had, you know, challenges actually come in, you know, all the time as a business owner, but in the last year or two, we've had some that I think uh, what we've learned in this course will help us overcome and actually become even better because of it. So uh, we'll take a little walk to the back here and I'll keep talking about those challenges and our plans, so. Basically, uh, this, this you know thriving economy has been great. It's been great for just about every business, I guess. Uh, you know, lead more work, continued growth, uh, great for the industry. Uh, but with it has come challenges, and the biggest challenge for us, we used to put all a lot of our energy towards selling work. Now we put a lot of our energy towards recruiting employees. Uh, there seems to be quite a shortage of uh, you know people that want to work outside get sweaty dirty tired all day every day uh, that trade work has become less common I think and there's more competition from all the landscape and construction companies to go after uh, a smaller pool of people so that's become a huge challenge for us is not only recruiting that talent and those workers but also keeping them here within our company and We've done our own, you know, experiments and innovative ideas we've had along the way. Uh, I think over the last couple years, uh, it's become probably one of my number one focuses is on uh, where we're gonna get the guys to do the work that we just sold. So um, it's been quite a learning process and I'll share some things that uh, I've learned in this course that'll kind of help, I think, Help us get better at that. Uh, let's just go over some of the things that, that we've tried. You know, obviously the higher wages, we pay people more. You can make really good money at a landscaping job right now. Um, develop some racial relationships with local schools and colleges, associations. Um, obviously using social media for job openings. We've done employee referral incentive program, which our guys really like. They get rewarded for bringing in their friends as long as their friends, you know, keep the job for a little while. 
and H2B visa program where we bring in uh, seasonal workers from uh, other countries. That's obviously helped us tremendously. We like to keep that going. Um, that's what we've done to recruit. Now, you know, another challenge is retaining guys once we realize they're good and we want them here and they want to be here. Not everyone is so loyal, you know, in an economy where competition is, is always recruiting, always hiring. Sometimes offering crazy wages that they can't sustain. But uh, I think it's important to, to do everything we can to keep the good people we have. Uh, don't be scared to let the ones go that we're that are not keeping up so you can reward the good ones that are and that are dedicated, committed to your vision. And if we meet a good guy, we bring him on immediately. Give him a try. So we've, and we've also had to get more creative with our resources management, uh, really dedicating our people, our equipment and everything to uh, the jobs that we want to do and letting a smaller company or another contractor do a job we uh, that's not our forte so uh, what's this got to do with with course module six and specifically I want to talk about the Disney animation teaming and restructuring well I can tell you what it has to do with it and uh, you know what we what you hated to see was hard to hire people hard to keep people and then you have a morale problem within your organization that kind of raised its head a, a few months ago and been a struggle to really keep that morale up keep everybody happy happy people work better we know that uh, we noticed that we were we lost a couple guys for starting their own business leaving to try and make more money uh, you know morale just seemed low guys taking breaks more than normal coming in late asking for raises you know bad attitudes just didn't seem the workplace didn't seem as happy as it used to be so we just you know really been looking for ideas and experiments to try to get that morale up and make our company stronger and uh, when I heard about or read and researched about the teaming and restructuring at Disney Animation I thought wow these are some incredible ideas that I can you know tweak on my own and turn it into something that will help us get better and uh, the managers there Giebel and Johnson they incorporated several things that I made note of and that I intend to try, you know, our own version of it, not exactly the same, but a little different. And uh, a couple of them were, well, number one, ask everybody for ideas. They requested ideas. It was the first thing they did at Disney. How can we get better? They wanted everybody's input, so we'll do that. You know, um, clear roles and jobs were defined for all team members we've never done that we just expect people to get trained and know what their job is and we need to define those roles so people know what they're responsible for and uh, that leads me to the team leader development that they did at Disney making that such a high priority position we're gonna do that here we already have crew leaders but we need to empower them and develop them that'll be our number one thing we can do to improve morale is to uh, you know boost them up and get them on board with growing and getting better um, getting managers back hands-on with the, with our employees here 15 to 20 percent of the time build some camaraderie abandon our old conference room meetings that we used to do in here instead we'll do them outside we'll do them on a job or on our nice new patio weekly and yearly roadmaps we, we don't communicate with our people how our company's doing enough so we're gonna do that and we're gonna make it interactive to where they can communicate as well I want to I want to build autonomy amongst our teams or our crews and uh, let the team leaders and their team members uh, have that responsibility less micromanagement from us see what ideas they can come up with to get better and also I thought get back to valuing true relationships was the thing they did at Disney more so than any numbers or data and I know as a business owner or manager we look at numbers are so important well let's look at our relationships not only with our clients but with our employees and make those the best that we can so just a few things there uh, that I could go through a lot more but we'd be here forever uh, but I think this came at a very crucial time in the growth of this organization and I can't wait to give a lot of these 
uh, ideas and methods to go. See what we come up with. Um, you know, we'll we'll revise as needed, and if it works, we'll keep it. If it doesn't work, we'll get rid of it, and we'll keep trying. Because we want to boost morale, empower our team, and prepare our business for the long haul and continue to grow. So just some ideas there. Thank you so much for a great course on managing innovation where we learned a lot that we can apply. And uh, thank you for watching the video.